All right, thanks, Dan. Well, it is Monday, so we have Jen Baer here with Hello. us, blogger, and now we can add a uh, magazine to your resume here. That's correct. This is fantastic. Yes. So many Thank of you, you ask us how you can get Jen's recipes. You have your website, getcrock.com, jenbaer.com. Now you can get one of these magazines. Fantastic. So you brought some recipes for us. That's right. So as you mentioned, this is my first magazine, the premier edition of Get Crocked. It's all slow cooker comfort foods mm -hmm. for this edition. Love it. And so I wanted to share you know, some of the recipes that readers can find in the magazine. Fantastic. So first we've got a baked CD. Oh my gosh. Really easy but really delicious. And so the great thing about this is you don't have to cook the noodles before you put them in. Great. Really you just put all of the ingredients together and this one slow cooks for about four hours. Oh that's not that bad Yeah at all. not bad at all and you know for me I'll put it in the slow cooker before I go pick up Bally from school. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of run our after school errands and when we come home in the evening dinner's good already ready for us. Just throw together a salad and we're good to go. So easy. That's the beauty of the crock pot and it's nice and thick and just looks absolutely yes. delicious. There. Yeah, and it, it makes a big portions, right? A big serving, so that there's yeah. always a lot of leftovers. You're, you'll be eating that for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have some filling here maybe for quesadilla. That's right. So everybody loves chicken quesadillas, oh, of right? So this is um, one of the the most popular recipes on my website and so I wanted to include it in the magazine as well and it's um, chicken you can easily put together with some tomatoes mm -hmm. and some green chilies and some onions and put that all together and then I like to use that to make a quesadilla and I recommend using the uncooked tortillas okay. because you can cook those on your stovetop, put some of the cheese and some of the quesadilla filling Good and tip. then make those nice and fresh. And then if you have some leftover chicken you can always use that for other meals during Absolutely. The week. It's great on a salad. I've even put it in an omelet before so delicious. If you've got leftovers, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Lots of options. And yes. then this smells amazing over here. Whatever you brought <laughs> us, apples and cinnamon can't go wrong with that. That's right. So this is a little bit healthier twist on a dessert. It's it's apples and cinnamon mm. and um, you know a little bit better than just your store-bought applesauce. Sure. And once you taste it, I promise you you'll never make or you'll never buy applesauce again because it's so easy to make yeah. and it really is good and you can have it as a nice healthier option for a dessert. You can even freeze it and then in individual portions oh, and wow. put it in the kiddos lunch boxes and Fantastic. it's thawed out by lunchtime and it's a nice sweet treat that's you know not too unhealthy. Fabulous. Well thank you yes. so much Jen. Congratulations on the magazine. Thank you. Hopefully you can go out there and uh, check it out. That's right. We're back after this.